Why am I making this so dramatic? I'm so annoying. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You found the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. I usually look a little bit better than this, but we're about to do something really fun. So today's video is basically going to be me going back to fully brunette. This this blonde little poof up here is going to be my natural, well not my natural color because we're going to color it, but today we're going, we're going back to the dark side. I'm gonna let go of the blonde because honestly at this point I don't plan on bleaching my hair I really want my hair to grow but I don't want it to be half blonde half brown as it is right now so I want to do this in like a smart way that I'm not going to damage my hair anymore if you're anything like me and you scroll Instagram all the time you've probably seen this product but I came across this stuff called overtone and it is a coloring conditioner and they just came out with a range that is like brown shades and so I got the color espresso brown and I'm basically gonna use this to dye this this part all of the blonde in my hair so that my hair can be one color and when I looked on the website the espresso brown shade like looks pretty oh I already dropped it wonderful this is gonna be a mess also if you're wondering why I have like this old tie-dye t-shirt on it's like one of my gym shirts that I probably should get let go of but for some reason I haven't so I'm using this to wear while I color my hair so that I'm forced to get rid of it because I really it's like the rattiest t-shirt like you know those shirts that you just like can't get rid of no matter how old and gross they get or like your boyfriends have those shirts I feel like it's more like men that can't let go of clothes like that <laughs> but I I get pretty attached to some things like that um so this you're basically supposed to use like just in place of regular conditioner but because I'm not doing my whole head I'm just doing this because if I did my dark hair part according to the website and the pictures I saw this will become like jet black and I'm really trying to even it out not like you know, like I want, I want the whole thing to be the same color. So I'm basically, before I get in the shower, cause I went to the gym this morning, I'm basically going to just put the conditioner on and then rinse it out because it is, first of all, it says that if you put it on dry hair that it'll take the color better. Um, and also because I don't really need to wash my hair, but I want to do this ASAP. So <laughs> I'm just going to use it as conditioner over my hair and hope that it takes. There is product in my hair, but I don't know, I think it'll be fine. I really do. And if it isn't, then we'll just try it again. Like what's the worst that's gonna happen? I, it doesn't get dark enough and then I'll just try it again when I wash my hair again, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do it. I'm trying to figure out like the best way to do this so that I only get the blonde parts. I think, I don't know, it being up in that little ponytail was kind of, maybe I'll do like two little ponytails and just do the ends. I feel like that's a good idea because like literally it's just the edges of my hair or like the very ends of my hair that are blonde still. So I think if I just do two like pigtails, I'll be able to get all of it. Except for these front, these like fame, face framing pieces, these go down a little higher. Am I getting all the blonde in the back? Hmm. Yeah, I think I am. Okay, okay. I know this is like Brad Mondo if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> imagine but this isn't me bleaching my hair so I feel like he would be okay with it if you guys don't watch Brad Mondo on YouTube like you need to it's the funniest thing he's like a hairdresser a hairstylist and he like basically watches like fail videos of people like doing their own hair at home and it's so freaking funny there's like this one yeah like this right here is not gonna yeah that's all brown okay so yeah this is what I'm thinking if I just put it all in this ponytail this little pigtail then I can just literally slap it onto this and not get any of this but like this part goes up a little higher so I'm just gonna have to do this separately and then pin it back also after I put up um like a little video of my hair on my Instagram story the other day because my curls looked amazing like I really have like mastered this whole thing not really I, I'm still learning but I've definitely like gotten pretty good at it ow, ow, ow. I know I'm like ripping out my hair but like getting frustrated and I don't even know why I need to chill and a lot of you guys were like what are you using how are you doing your hair like this and I if you guys let me know in the comments if you want I can do like a full curly like my curly hair routine because I want to basically <laughs> oh I should put on gloves now 
they sent gloves with it and they sent like this whole big instruction thing but i basically read it already um so yeah let's put on these gloves yeah I'm, I'm, I'm like actually excited to have like all one hair color it's like been annoying me lately that my hair is two different colors but bye bye blonde will we ever see you again maybe if i ever get my hair in a healthy state again okay this stuff is this literally looks like chocolate frosting like do i eat it no you don't actually you don't it smells really nice and minty also okay i'm really trying like to get it only in the blonde part because i really don't want my natural hair to be like any darker this really looks like the exact same cut like doesn't it blend so well that's amazing it smells amazing dude okay now let's go for the puff oh okay that's gonna get on my face i should clip that back I maybe should have done this in my bathroom but it's pretty it's not like it's really thick so i don't feel like it's gonna like fall anywhere um yeah so basically i maybe should have broken it up into bigger sections but i will make sure we get every curl that's the good thing about curly hair too is like it's kind of sectioned off for you, you just pick up a curl <laughs> this is fun like you know like how playing with slime is like really satisfying i feel like this is what this is the feeling i'm getting from this stuff it's also supposed to like actually condition your hair too kind of like a hair mask so like that's good we can always use that oh my god i feel so washed out <laughs> okay let's pick it apart and make sure all the inside has color and the good thing about this being conditioner too is like you can really like massage it into your hair and not worry about like ammonia or anything like that i really wonder like what the ingredients in this stuff is because oh yeah you see that's why we gotta pick this ponytail apart to make sure we get every piece lovely <laughs> do you guys think i'm making a mistake should i have not gone back to brunette i feel like i mean it washes out anyway so like who even cares you know okay let's do this a little more section you see this little coil right here girl we love you and also since it's just conditioner i can just rinse it out i don't have to shampoo my hair like normal color and they give you this like big old jar that like you can totally touch this up when it fades because obviously it's just color and conditioner it's not gonna like be permanent or anything so you're gonna have to touch it up i feel like this is a really good way for me to maintain my hair color without damaging it and like not having to spend a lot of money the jar was only 30 bucks which honestly I feel like I'm gonna get, because my hair is so short, oh, I got color on me. Because my hair is so short, I feel like I'm gonna be able to use this for like months. Cause I gotta say, paying for my hair to be colored is something I'm not gonna miss about being blonde because that shit gets expansive. Okay. I look crazy. I guess I can just like put this all up into one ponytail now. So I don't look this crazy. Also to check that I have like, I didn't miss any spots inside the, like where the ponytail was. Yeah, like that's a little spot there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that one's good. Yeah, we missed the spot, boo, we missed the spot. Okay, there's like brown specks all over my face. I need to like put this up. Oh shit, I got it everywhere. Okay, so we've gotta let this sit for 10 minutes before I can wash it out. So I figured I would give you guys a little bit of an update. If any of you noticed, I did miss two uploads last week, like my Thursday and my Sunday upload. And don't worry, I'm not going back to my inconsistent ways. But I will update you. So basically, um, since like our first little heart to heart and since I put together like my new content schedule and tried to get more consistent and like back on my shit and all that, I basically felt like I hadn't properly planned it. So I hadn't like, I had video ideas, but it was always like, I didn't give myself enough time to execute them in the right way. So from, so last week I basically did a lot of thinking, a lot of brainstorming, a lot of like, 
checking in with myself and I put together a content calendar and especially because I want to do like more long form videos like week long challenges, two week long challenges, you know just videos that take a lot more time than just like vlogging my day and uploading it because I was feeling like none of my videos actually had any purpose other than like you guys enjoying watching me go about my day which is fine and I love that you guys love that but I want my videos to have like to mean more than just you watching me live my life. Does that make sense? Like I want them to be helpful to you, uh, resourceful, more entertaining than just watching me drive in my car, you know, stuff like that. So I basically um, put together a little content calendar and I'm like, I planned basically out the rest of October. Um, later on in the month, I'm actually gonna do a video. Part of my content calendar was a video on how I'm making a content calendar because I feel like a lot of you if you're trying to be an influencer or a YouTuber a content creator it might be interesting for you to see how I've been doing that so um it late like the last week of the month on the schedule is a video of you like planning out November with me so I hope that you guys will look forward to that um but we have like this week I'm doing a fitness challenge that I will post up on Sunday next week I'm doing more of like a health and wellness challenge that I'm going to post the next Sunday so basically the new schedule and obviously like things change all the time like this isn't set in stone forever but for the foreseeable future you can expect on Sundays for me some kind of like longer challenge video like a week long of doing something two weeks of doing something like those kind of even 30 days of doing something those kind of videos and then Tuesday is going to be something something helpful and resourceful for you guys so some kind of post like a tutorial or a DIY or a cooking video or a haul because those are helpful for you guys that need help with like sizing and stuff. I know a lot of you guys watch my hauls because we have similar body types and you want to see how something's going to fit you. So even though it's like something kind of more personal, I find it on my channel specifically more helpful for you guys because I know a lot of you come to me for like sizing references. So haul, well fashion hauls at least. And then Thursday will be something more personal because I know you guys really like my vlogs. You really like when we're just like chilling together, which I also love. Those are like my favorite videos to film. So like Thursdays will be like favorites or vlogs or um, you like following me around my day, something me and Meech do, like even like a travel vlog or something like that. Um, so yeah, that is basically what I've come up with next on the agenda is to figure out Instagram because that's a whole nother ballpark and taking pictures by yourself is so fucking difficult. I'm also looking at my timer on my phone because I'm like, how long has it been? Can I wash my hair yet? <laughs> um, wow. It's so weird to be like, I know it's just the dye in my hair, but like to have all of my hair dark right now is like so weird. I haven't been a brunette in three years, solid three years, over three years. I went blonde. I got like an ombre this summer after me and Meech met. So we met in April and then like I went, I, my curls weren't in like a beautiful condition, like the best they've ever been. Actually, they're kind of better now, weirdly, um, cause I know how to do them now. The best they've ever been. Like when I went to Hawaii, I showed you guys those pictures in that, in that curly hair video. And then I was like, Ooh, maybe I'll go blonde. And Meech was like, yeah, that'd be really hot on you. And of course I'm like, Oh my God, my new, my new boo wants me to go blonde. Hell yeah, I'm going to go blonde. And then it was just an addiction ever <laughs> from there. <laughs> So no, it's not Meech's fault because I definitely fell into it hard. I was like, oh my god, I love Ashley Blonde. Let's go blonder and blonder and blonder. And here we are with hair that doesn't even pass my shoulders. So yeah, anyway, because I graduated from college and then like a few months later, I dyed my hair blonde. So like being an adult out of school, I've really never known it as a brunette. Wow, this is going to be weird. Oh, but I mean, I'm naturally a brunette and I didn't dye my hair ever until I was 19 years old so it will be fine I mean that this is me this is naturally me it's gonna be weird though because I'm gonna have to like nah I won't really have to alter my makeup <laughs> I thought the same thing when I dyed my hair pink that I would have to like alter how I did my makeup and stuff but that wasn't true I just kind of had pink hair you know I miss pink hair that was fun too I feel like my hair is gonna look shinier though now that it's all brunette because whenever my hair looks dry it's only ever the blonde parts that look dry so it'll look healthier as well, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for another four minutes and then hop in the shower. And then I guess we'll be back when I'm brunette. If anything goes wrong, obviously I'll document that too. But my phone keeps vibrating and it's right under the camera. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. But yeah, let's um, 
Let's see how this turns out. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a brunette. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Okay, you guys, <laughs> I did my makeup and now we're gonna reveal <laughs> me as a brunette. I still gotta do my hair, but I was like, I wanna like see it for the first time. And I didn't look in the mirror after I got out of the shower. I just kind of put it in this towel and then came over and did my makeup. So let's do it. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Why am I making this so dramatic? I'm so annoying. Oh my god, why do I miss being a blonde already? Okay, I will say, it's not exactly my same color. Like, it's definitely more, I would say, red-toned, and it's not as dark. But, I mean, it. I think it looks, I'm pretty sure it looks better than, oh, it kinda, I kind of have, like, some highlights. That's kind of cool. It's definitely a very, like, red-brown, but it is espresso brown, the color name, so... That makes sense. My hair feels amazing. Like it literally feels like, like it normally does out of the shower, like no damage whatsoever. It feels really nice and soft and clean and pretty. What do we think? What do we think? Uh, feels so weird to have one hair color. I haven't had one hair color in ye literally years. Yeah, I had to definitely clean my shower while I was in there. Luckily like the sponge was very close by that I could like clean because there was brown splattered all over the walls but it washed out really quickly i just made sure to like wash it off the walls and stuff immediately so that it didn't have any time to stain oh also like on my skin and stuff where it was it washed off perfectly so that's good um but yeah i guess i will go style my hair now and then we'll see it like you know when it's done oh! <laughs> i have to get them now okay you guys i am just I'm a <laughs> I, um, weirdly, even though this is my natural hair color, I feel less like myself, like this is really weird. But as for overtone, like this shit really works. Highly recommend if you're in the same predicament, predicament as me, or you wanna change up your hair color without, um, without damaging it. If you have dark hair, then Obviously, like if you get one of their pastel pinks, like pa the pastel range is not gonna work on you. But if you have dark hair and you wanna like tone it to purple, I know they have some products for that. But like if you have light hair, if you have blonde hair, you can basically do any color that they have because it's not gonna lighten your hair at all. It's just gonna deposit color. So if your hair is light, you can do all of their colors. But if your hair is darker, then you're kind of limited on options. But if you do have like dark brown hair and you wanna change the tone, maybe go black, maybe go darker. Um, without having to damage your hair and use like hair dye and stuff. I feel like this is a really great option. My hair feels amazing, looks amazing. Like it's pretty, now that it's like curly, you can't really tell that there's much of a difference. Like it just looks like my hair is all natural this, this color or I dyed my whole head. Like you can't really see much of a difference between the top and the bottom. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, Am I happy with being a brunette? I don't know, but we're on the journey to grow our hair out. So this is definitely the best option. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you, comment down below if you want me to do um, my curly hair routine so you guys can figure out how to get these like perfect, shiny, frizz-free ringlets. It's a whole process and it takes kind of a while, but like it's worth it because this is like the best my curls have ever looked. The only parts that are like a little fail failure-y right now is these right here, because these are the most damaged parts, but we shall rebuild, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you in my next video, bye. <laughs>